Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be talking about shell scripting. As we know shell scripting is really important while we are working as Oracle DBA. So I'll be covering the part about the basic of shell variable and the input data. Variable is mainly useful to store the any kind of the data. Let's say you have the number which is starting from 1 to 10. So any number can be stored inside the variable. Even when you have the combination of character as well, you can save it inside the variable. So whenever you want to store anything, you can use the variable. So this is happening inside all the programming language and same things you can configure or you can say you can use it in the shell scripting. Only the thing is in shell scripting, you call it as a shell variable. So shell variable which will store the character kind of data, it can store the number of kind of data and you can print that data with the help of echo command. Now what is meant by input data? So whenever uh, you are putting any user ID, uh, user ID or password, sometimes it is asking us to enter the uh, data. Let's say I'm saying like, okay, enter your username. So we are saying from our saying, okay, this is a username, okay? So this is the input we are giving it from our end and we can also print that input. So all those things we can see in the practical way so that you will understand. Okay, so we have our server is ready. And here I'm going to create one shell script, a short, small shell script file with the name variable.sh. So this is the file we have created with the help of VI editor okay and we need to we are saying explicitly to use the bash very bash shell so we have a command handy with me so it will be running this shell script from here okay so variable let's say i'm creating one variable with the name equals to an oracle data and I'm printing this variable dollar name. So what is happening here? Name is a variable which is storing the data Oracle data. Okay. And I'm trying to print that data with the help of echo command. So this is how it is working. So whenever I'm trying to call this name variable shell variable, it will internally calling to this Oracle data value. Okay. So this is all about variable. If I'm just trying to run this and trying to print echo dollar name, definitely it will print the Oracle data. Okay. Let's try to save this file. And I'm giving the executable permission 775 variable.sh. That's done. And in order to run it like this, we can run it. Here you can see it has printed Oracle data. Because if I'm just opening this file, we have used echo command and after that shell variable. This shell variable contain Oracle data as a value and by using the echo command, we can print this value which is available inside the variable. So variable where we can store a character kind of data or number kind of data. Now, another thing is, uh, we'll be talking about how we can take the input. So this is, I will just replace this shell script and let me open it. And okay, let me create the another shell script via read.sh. I am creating new file and here I am pasting the shell script. What is happening here? Echo. Echo is basically used to print the message. Echo, what is your name? I am asking the name. Read name. So name is a variable which is taking the input and whatever the input we are going to give it, that is going to store with this name variable. Okay. How do you do? And after that dollar name, so whatever the name we are 
uh, whatever the input we are giving it here same thing will be print out here okay because we are using the echo command and remark so basically read is mainly useful to take the input and after that we can mention the variable name let me show you how to do it ch mode i am just providing the permission read.sh what's your name uh, here it's ankush see here after uh, whatever the input i am giving it here it is printing it here because we have placed the dollar variable over here okay how do you good um, fine thank you so this is my input and here you can get the message if I'm just opening this file what is your name here I am mentioning Ankush and the same Ankush input is printing over here how do you do the input you can see over here okay read remark so remark I'm saying I am fine thank you I am and then whatever the input I'm giving it here I have given the input as I am fine thank you and after that it is coming as two this is how you can see over here so read is basically used to take the input and echo is the command which is basically used to print the message and whenever you are seeing the dollar that will be a shell variable okay so this is all about shell variable how to take the input and how we can print the message thank you